We believe that robots should be accessible in the same way that software is now. If you grab a bunch of building blocks and just start playing, you know, all sorts of amazing creative things can happen. We teach kids how to create their own clean energy. We work primarily in Kenya at this point and we teach them how to make solar lamps uh, to avoid using kerosene and other such items. Our big plan is to help create energy independence throughout the world. We have uh, a makerspace on campus and I work there. I also am building a separate makerspace on another campus. We've worked on prosthetic hands. We 3D scanned the student and imported it and then pulled and made a, a cap for his hand. Our product will be used as a method of creating sustainable art that is also functional in corporate art spaces, public parks, zoos, airports. Uh, the difference is, is that ours will also be able to charge your cell phone or plug your laptop. I'm working on a 3D printed wearable device that's really configurable. It's super easy for people to get in there, reconfigure it, and put that thing wherever they want to. I spend the small amount of time that I have when I'm not working or spending time with my kids to build cool things in my garage. In the case of building things like drones, it's very satisfying because at the end you get to fly it. It was actually my girlfriend who inspired me to, to get started. She saw some of the designs and uh, wished for a present for Christmas and she wanted a piece of jewelry and I did that and uh, well, the whole collection grew out of that. With this commoditization and with the availability of a lot of open source software, it would be possible to build a low-cost, computer vision-directed robot. And I said, gee, you know, uh, somebody's going to need to uh, help automate this process of charging electric vehicles. And uh, I had that thought sitting in the parking lot of my office on a cold February morning. So I started a company to uh, build it. Around the world today, it's over 700 million people that lack access to clean water. It uses ozone gas, which is more effective than chlorine at killing things. Our goal is to supply over one million wind turbines to the developing world by 2025. A small scale portable wind turbine, that idea really stood out as a, a solution to some major problems in uh, energy poverty. Even the most green electric cars still get stuck in traffic. With uh, bikes and other forms of electric transportation, we think we can help solve a really big issue that will be hitting all major cities in the next kind of 10 to 20 years. We want to make bikes just like you remember when you were a kid. If I can give that experience to more people, that's what we want to do.